Oh, the doorknob collection. Everyone remembers their story of their first doorknob, don't they? I certainly do. My name is Tim Samuelson. I'm the cultural historian, actually cultural historian emeritus for the city of Chicago. When I was just a little kid and I was kind of paying attention to the wonders of downtown, my mother may have thought that I was at the schoolyard. I was riding the CTA and exploring downtown when I was probably in like fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. I have a lot of stuff but I never really collected it. And I never wanted to say, oh, I own this. I have this desire to own and assemble these things. Look what I've got. In some ways, it's like I'm taking in stray cats, but they all have historical background to them. And they have stories that you want to preserve. How many of them? I have no idea. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of things. One of the things that we have here, I mean, it's, these are love potions that was made by a co company in Chicago, the Valmore Company. And there's different degrees. So here's lo uh, Look Me Over, and you can see it. It's a really interesting labels because they were designed by Charles Dawson, who was Chicago's first African-American graphic designer. And after Look Me Over, there's Hug and Kiss Me. And there's different other ones too about embracing. And then this one here is a little faded, and you can see a little figure says, I love you. And this is Hold Your Man. And actually, the perfumes are still in here, and they're pretty. Well, I mean, she probably shouldn't uncork these things because who knows what'll happen. Part of my incentive for doing what I do, I think it's part of the old Chicago DNA that I grew up with. And as I was trying to figure out how to manage all of these different collections and make them accessible, I get an amazing gift. One of the great photo collections relates heavily to Chicago. It goes back into the 19th century. It has the negatives of the photographer who was the photographer of chores for Louis Sullivan and Frank Lloyd Wright. There are photographs of immigrant history in Chicago from about 1905. The photographic negative collection of the SNA Studios, the pioneering film studio in Chicago, from the days when Chicago was Hollywood in the great filmmaking days. And so this collection came my way. And so suddenly I have what was estimated to be 100,000 images. They are made out of glass. To look at them, to scan them, you have to touch them and care for them very carefully. There are original glass plate negatives that were made 150 years ago in the aftermath of the Chicago fire that show the tragedy in intimate detail. And then there is a large collection that document African-American history. And pictures of leaders of the African-American community is something that is in great number in this collection as well. And when you combine this, with contemporary imaging technology. It makes them even more impressive, large prints, and you can use them and put them online, and it's something that can share a lot of information. I love the idea of taking something really old and historical and then bringing it into a modern time and taking advantage of the newest technology. You are now going to be able to hear, as heard, at the Elite Number no. 2 Cafe or other venues that he played in the 1920s, the great Jelly Roll Morton will play for you.